everybody. Welcome back to a special edition of Poolside Cigar Reviews with Kirk. If you haven't figured it out already, I'm going to do a box opening. I recently uh, bought some stuff off Cigar Bid, and uh, it came in the mail today. So let's see what we have. I know what it is, but you don't. That's my daughter. Okay. So we've got a five pack of Oliva Saison Robustos. I picked these up again off Cigar Bid. These are uh, for fifteen dollars. So these are uh, five by fifty Robustos from Oliva, made in Nicaragua. I believe they're Nicaraguan puros. Haven't had these before. I have loved everything I've had from Oliva. Never had anything bad. These are supposedly from what limited reviews I've seen somewhat similar to the Siri V although I don't think they're a direct copy I think so I guess they have their own character but we'll see I've got some diesel a hair of the dog torpedoes these look like they are six by fifty maybe and uh, I also picked these up for fifteen bucks so both of these were $15 a piece. That's $3 a cigar. Not too shabby. Never had a diesel. I felt like it was time. Um, so we'll see if these are any good. This is really why I placed the order. I just bought the cigars to kind of piggyback on it. This is a new lighter. Typical Zycar packaging. Beautiful box. This is the XTX. The 530SL XTX Tabletop Lighter in Silver. And there we are. Pretty fancy. So we just have the one thumb button. Feels pretty solid. And they always ship these uh, empty. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'll go ahead and press pause here, and I will do a quick tutorial on how to fill a lighter, and then I'll come back, and we'll do the initial light. So yeah, this was the main reason I paid, uh, I picked this up for $37. This is normally a $100 and $90 lighter, if you'd buy it in a B&M, and I picked it up for $37, so I thought that was a good deal for a good-sized tabletop lighter. Be right back. Okay, so I'm going to fill this lighter for the first time, but we'll pretend like I've used this before. And this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to fill a, a butane lighter. So on the bottom here, we've got our, our uh, flywheel to adjust flame height. So we're going to turn this all the way down towards the minus sign. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a, a plus sign and a minus sign. So I'm going to turn it towards the minus sign. It's turned all the way down. And then I normally use a pencil. There are actual tools for this. You can use a pencil, a pen. I've used a nail. Anything to depress. Let's see. I don't know. You can kind of see it in there. I'm trying to get a good angle for you. To see the little fuel port. But you're going to push down on that. And you'll feel it go down. And if there was gas in there, you would hear it come out. And you just hold that down until you don't hear any more gas. And then I normally also, I will just hold the button and just wait to see if I can hear any gas and I'll also hold it up to my ear you know, to, to see if I can hear it. I will say before you hold it up to your ear hold it away from your face when you light it. Make sure it doesn't light before you put it up to your ear because you could burn yourself. So this is totally empty so we'll say that we purged it. It's totally empty now. So what you're going to do is take your butane and you want to make sure that this sits straight up because there is um, there's a different gas in here for the pressure. So there's butane and there's there's another um, pressurized solution there to help actually push the butane out. So normally you, you don't want this to be you don't want your butane to be shaken up. You don't you just want to leave it how it is. If it does get shaken up, just let it rest for a while and it should go back to normal just fine. But you don't want it shaken up because then you could put that the pressurizing solution in your lighter and that's what you don't want. You just want butane. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to turn your butane over gently, get it to where it sits right in that, uh, right in the fuel port, and then hold it vertical, push down. And I did 10 seconds. So I don't know, this lighter does not have a fuel window. So I'm not exactly sure how full this is, but I'll I'll try to do a little bit more and see see if it'll take more here. Appears to be still taking it. I'll try a little bit more. And you will feel it. It does get cold. That's the that's the pressure change. If you took high school chemistry, you probably remember learning about that. So you're going from high pressure to low pressure. You know, honestly, I've never filled a tabletop lighter. So I, I don't know how big this reservoir is or how long it's supposed to take to fill. Normally I do like five or ten seconds on my little lighter. This will be my last one. We'll call it good. Okay. We'll call that filled. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this uh, rest for a while because it's very cold. You can see there's actually frost on the flywheel. I'll wipe it away. Um, but I'm going to let this rest for a little while, come up to room temperature, and then we will light it for the first time and see what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back. My lighter should be my lighter should be cooled off. So we'll give it the. Uh, I mean, it still feels a little cool to the touch, but it's probably been 10, 15 minutes. I don't know if a tabletop needs to sit longer, but we'll give it its first light. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but here we go. Yeah, when it sputters like that, that means it's still a little little too cold. All right, well, let's maybe adjust the, oh, there we go. Maybe it's too low. So let's try it again now. Perfect. Nice, uh, you can see pretty, pretty windproof. I'm shaking it pretty violently. So I think that'll work well outside. You can see we got three jets in there. I'm gonna melt my camera. But yeah, perfect, very nice. And not that she would think that I would uh, steer you wrong, but just for proof, here is uh, here's my uh, my receipt. So you can see that I got the hair of the dog for fifteen bucks. I got the saisons for fifteen bucks. Got my lighter for thirty seven. After shipping, a grand total of seventy two ninety five. I think that's a pretty good deal. A tabletop lighter and ten uh, ten name brand cigars for. $73. Can't go wrong. And as always with Zycar, you get a lifetime warranty on their lighters. Very nice. Can't wait to use it. Alright guys, that was uh, my box opening, so thank you very much and uh, have a great week. As always, I'll leave you with my reminder to keep your feet in the pool, a drink in your hand, and a cigar in your mouth. Thanks a lot everybody. See you this weekend.